So guys, I'm very happy we are done with this chapter, with this block, chapter 10, which was catalysis and catalyst, uh, block of reactor engineering number 10. By now you should know at least uh, the exact definition of catalysis, what is catalysis, and what is a catalyst, and of course the difference between these two guys. You should know at least why is it important into the industry, why is it uh, so interesting to have the studies on catalyst. You should know what's an inhibitor, which is probably the antonym to a catalyst. You should know the most basic catalytic reactions, homo and heterogeneous reactions, and also enzymatic reactions. The importance of chemisorption, which is a very important topic, especially if you want to model solid gas phase uh, equilibriums or reactions. Basic reaction mechanisms such as Langmuir models and LA Riedel models, which are awesome, probably using one of these before, I think this is new for you guys, but I think it's not huge of a deal. You should know by now the importance of the support catalyst, because probably you are thinking that support, uh, the support is not huge of a deal, and it is actually is. It's very important, guys. Why the activation occurs, and the type of the activation, which you know, aging, cooking, and poisoning are the most common one. You should know the most common industrial processes and what type of catalyst they use. I show you, I think, about six type of processes. Mainly, the or most of them take place in a refinery. You know by now the catalytic reaction and how it is divided in seven steps. You know that steps one, two, six, and seven are mass dependent or mass transfer dependent and 3, 4 and 5 are more into kinetics and absorption. You know what's the limiting step and why we need to study. Actually, if you want to get faster reaction, you need to improve that limiting step. And you know how to model a basic catalytic reaction mechanism. Either the basic one, like you should know how to get x plus y equals c, or even we did the Qman example. In the Qman example, you got a lot of information. And yeah, essentially it's everything, guys. I'm pretty happy you're there. You wanna uh, get other courses, check out the other blocks. I have the overview will be plenty of help for you to know how the course is structured. So go check out the overview. Thank you for being with me and joining me in the course and See you in the other courses. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring, so if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.